Hey lifers, here we go again, another week, huh? Hey, last Sunday, I talked to the men about their role and what God designed for them to do uh, in their household, how they should treat their wives and, and how they should step up and, and take the leadership role. This Sunday, I'll be talking to the women and from that same passage of scripture, Ephesians chapter five, and talk to them how they need to step in, that sometimes they wanna step ahead of the men and take over that leadership. So we'll teach this week of what it means to step alongside and be that wonderful, beautiful, powerful support in their marriages. Uh, so we'll look forward to that. But men, I wanna just talk to you for just a couple of moments and remind you of the things that we talked about. Remember we said that you're not to step away from leadership, you're not to step on your wife and dominate her, but you're to step up and lead her. And we talked about the principles that God laid out in Ephesians chapter 5. And you know, sometimes it's easy to miss the real practice of that uh, teaching in day-to-day -day life. You know, I was praying about this, uh, as I always do before I bring any kind of teaching. And you know, sometimes God just blasts me with uh, the teaching that I'm bringing. And uh, man, I'll tell you what, I get more correction from the Lord when I'm preparing to teach than any other time as he's teaching me about what I need to be doing in regard to what I'm teaching. And you know, I started just thinking and praying about my own marriage and uh, we have a good marriage. You know, we are as happy now, I think, as we've ever been. Um, 35 years coming up in August and it's beautiful. You know, we, we love the empty nest. The kids are great and we love them, but it's a, it's, a, it's a different special time to be at home. But you know, I started thinking about what I used to do when I was courting Sandra. Now that's 38 years ago. And uh, we got married 35 years ago, but we dated for three and a half years. So 38 some years ago. Uh, and you know, I was great at wooing her. Uh, attentive and fun and uh, alive and making her laugh and uh, you know, making her feel special. And uh, you know, there was no doubt about uh, it in her mind that she was number one. I'd go out of my way and do nice things. And you know, I started thinking that you know, I, I don't, I don't know if I make her laugh like I used to. I don't know if I make her feel like that special one anymore. She, she, she knows I love her, but I don't want to say anymore, but um, you, know, you can just kind of settle. Settle into a just kind of a normal, you know, mode. And uh, you know, I kind of, I, I wonder, I wonder if she's even bored. I don't think she is. I just is my feelings now. What I'm just kind of as I'm praying, that uh, I wonder. And you know, I, I felt the Holy Spirit's conviction just tell me that you know it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how many years you've been married. Uh, keep it alive. Keep the thing moving. Keep it hot. Keep it spicy. And uh, and you know, I've I've decided to make some changes. That uh, I remember courting her, and and I put effort into planning and dates and special things and notes and and all of that. And, uh, you know, I want my last year, don't I say last year, like I'm dying tomorrow, but I want the, you know, the next season of life to be just as fun and energetic. And I wanna make her laugh today. I wanna make her feel like the princess today. I wanna make her feel like she's the luckiest girl in the world. I wanna make her feel like her marriage is fun and that uh, what's coming around the next corner is exciting and, uh, and I want to do that I want to do that again and you know that I think that's what God meant in Ephesians when he said he is gonna present his bride to himself now he's talking about holiness and cleansing and purification but you know God made us to feel the way we feel God made us to um, to want to respond to each other in a certain way and here's what I know when when I'm bringing fun into her life, when I'm bringing joy and spontaneity and, and planning and responsibility and stability and those kind of things, good leadership, good spiritual leadership, um, but I really try. I try to make her life special, make her life fun and, uh, and make her feel like she is the prize. Because she is my prize. And I, I just needed to correct that in my life. And you know, maybe some of you guys need to hear that. Uh, and, and I'm pretty convinced that when we treat our women like that, that they're going to respond to us in ways that maybe they haven't responded to us in a while. 
and a lot of that is because of our leadership. So guys, let's take what we learned last week, let's put it into practice, let's treat our wives with, with uh, the joy and the passion and the effort to uh, bring just a specialness to their life. And, uh, and I've got a feeling that our marriages are gonna be a lot more just sweet and intimate and close as we do our best to step up and to lead them and to make them uh, know that they are our prize. So I look forward to hearing from you guys and seeing how it works out. Uh, so looking forward to this Sunday and talking to the ladies and men, let's step up. Love you guys.